Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up? What up? It's your boy, Daryl Clark, also known as the captain. It's your boy, Trey. And welcome to the, the backfield. backfield. Now, of course, the backfield is a place where we come to give you the real spiel. And every time we turn on the mic, we're here to inspire, motivate and inform. Now, for those who have listened and those who have watched, those who have rolled with us since the very beginning, thank you. But if not, take one second to like, share and, and subscribe. subscribe to the Backfield Podcast. Of course, we're on YouTube, but all the social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Yes, sir. My man, A-Train, it's been a minute since we've been on the show. It's been a little while. But what better time and what better show to start it off with a very special guest. A special guest today. Who we got, Train? Today we have a father, a mentor, mm -hmm. and a coach, elite specialty trainer, Elite. Elite. I like that word, elite. Me too. I think I was elite. DC, were you elite? I was. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> also, he empowers uh, five-star athletes around the nation and what I like to call a traveler. A traveler. And I say a traveler because this man travels around the nation holding camps, one-on-one -on -one competitions, and giving away tens of thousands of dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, listen, I, you know what? I, I, I admire that. Yes, sir. Without further ado, we share the last name. My man, Jason Allen, a.k.a. O.T.B. Yes, Coach O.T.B., welcome. Yes, sir. What's up, yes, sir? What's up, man, fellas? What's up, man? Oh, man, gratitude. Yes, sir. Hey, I Absolutely. appreciate that kind introduction, man. You go. That's that's it. That's that's <laughs> no, you, all love, man. Listen, all you, love, listen, man. and, and I you, appreciate it. we know you have a, a lot of accolades, so I just want to touch on uh, something real quick. So when we say uh, elite specialty trainer, why are you yeah. elite? I know. Let's tell the people why you're elite. Elite specialty trainer. So pretty much what I bring to the table, what I offer my athletes, man. So um, I've always been the coach. I've always been the trainer. You know, specialty trainer means I can train to any position. I can speak to any yes, position. Sir. Come on. Um, you know, obviously I specialize in defensive back, but I could coach a defensive end. I could coach a wide receiver, whatever the case may be. So uh, what makes it elite is – I like to take the raw, the green, uh, you know, just the white canvas board. I don't want the ready-made athlete. I want the guy that's just raw, and I can instill everything in him, and then I can put my work, work ethic into him, and I can see that flourish based off what I'm putting him into and I'm teaching. It takes an elite mindset. It takes an elite work ethic to, ethic to be able to create that type of athlete. So. I love what you said, man. You said, I don't want the ready-made ready -made athlete. I don't want the ready-made athlete. There ain't no knock to some of you coaches that just – Get little Johnny that came out the womb, 6'4", running a four two five with a yeah. forty inch vertical, and you you think you coaching him? Nah, that boy gonna do what he do. He gonna right? do that regardless. You know I mean, give me the guy with the two left feet that really don't have the IQ of the game. Yeah, and, and let me put my coach OTB, Coach J, stamp on him. So okay, like it, that's man. where the elite comes like in. Then elite man. is also a mind state, and it's also just a, you know, just a mentality for the type of players we want. We want there's good, there's average, you know, there's great, yep. and there's, there's elite. A, there's elite. Just, you know what I mean? So. That's where I bring that in. So I also said that you empower five star yeah. athletes. Yeah. So give me give me a few names if you don't mind. Um, there's so much to name. I mean, got to shout out my son Tavian Allen first. Played free safety coming up out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona Central, uh, Cesar Chavez High School. I'm sorry. Um, he had four ride to University of Hawaii. You got nice. guys like uh, Keely Ringo. He's now with the Eagles. Isaiah Palmer, guys that I trained, worked with over the years since they was babies. Um, who else? Dorian Singer is over at Utah State right now. Mm -hmm. Devin Dampier. Just the name we got Rylan Diller coming up out of uh, Mount Point High School in Phoenix, Arizona. Four star uh, boy running 427. Yeah. Junior year. Derek you know Stewart. I mean? Right yeah. on. Stu. All day long. We had, we had a kid that, well, in my class, we ran a 427. Yeah, man. So, so I seen that moving. So, uh, well, I mean, and these guys, every time I do a podcast, every time I do a show, they get on me because, Coach, you didn't mention me. We got to <laughs> nah. shout out my baby, Deshaun Warner, down there going to Kansas, uh, Noah Carter at Alabama. Um, it's just so many of them. We got LaRon Dues, Tyshawn Dues. Um, we just got them so, just all around yeah, the country at this time. That's um, awesome. And how far, long have you been doing this? Well, um, I know I look young and all that, man, but I've been get doing this about 20 years, man. You 20 know, years. Yeah, I've been doing this about strong. 20 years. So it started out initially back in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, Daddy ball. I played nine years of arena football, and it's okay. one of those things that, you know, can't nobody coach my son how I coach him. So when I got to the back end of my playing career, I pretty much wanted to go out there and help out. Started out as a defensive back coach, and then I seen little Johnny need my help, little Danny need my help, and then it was one of those things, you know, kids ain't had no cleats, kids ain't had no helmets. Yeah. So. 
that's when the mentor part came in. But about 19, 20 years just coaching in the Valley and then uh, just continuing to build programs, going against Snoop Dogg and playing these high-level national games, you know, tackle. Then it turns into seven on seven leagues or whatever, you know. So I've been doing it for a long time, man, many moons. Many moons. That's dope, man. Co you said coaching against Snoop. Yeah, coach against Snoop, man. Uh, Y'all go check that out, man. Coach Snoop, episode three. That was back in like 2016. Yeah. You got me. Snoop, you bullied the refs. <laughs> <laughs> you bullied the refs. They were scared to throw flags. So, you know, playing against guys like that, um, Snoop, and just bouncing around. I mean, so many guys I can name. I want to cut nobody short, but uh, just putting my kids on the national level. When it just started out, obviously, I wanted to be, these kids have the opportunity. So let me go back to my name. It's an acronym for Outside the Box. Okay. Yeah. OTB. So outside Coach, the Coach box. OTB, and it's a. Uh, it's a mentality. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a way to think. So me personally, in my upbringing, I was a kid that was supposed to be dead or under the jail. And I did my fair share of beers as a kid, you know, coming up younger, whatever the case may be. So I had to think outside the box. You know, when I thought outside the box, proved to myself I was who I thought I was, then the world would be able to see that. So, you know, when I would look at these kids going without, not having, I never wanted them to be like me. So I would start taking care of them, looking out for them, picking them up, dropping them off because – Coming up, we just didn't have that. You know, right. I didn't have nobody right. taking me to practice. I didn't have nobody paying for me to, you know, play the game. My big brother did it. You know, that was out of his hustle money at 15. So, yeah. you know, I didn't really have that. So I wanted to be the big brother, or the, not the big brother, but, you know, the coach that I didn't have. Yeah, right. So that's where the mentoring came in. And, you know, it just flourished into this. We we had that growing up. Maybe, sure you know, not not us specifically, but literally Coach Floyd, coach just to Floyd. name one. Yep. You know, he Rest was definitely that guy. So Shout out to those type coaches, man. For sure. I was yeah. about to say that. So for yeah. you doing that, man, salute because yeah, we've seen it and we know the impact, you know, yeah. that it can make on the, on the youth. I right? yeah. appreciate that, man. Um, so are you from Phoenix? Yeah, so originally born in Red, I mean, born in uh, West Virginia, military brat, moved to Texas when okay. I was young. Then we landed in Phoenix. So I pretty much came up in Phoenix, um, uh, adolescent, adulthood or whatever. And just pretty much bounced around. Like you said, I'm a traveler. So right, right. coming from being a military brat, you know, living all over. But, yeah, originally from Greenstown, Beckley, Oak Hill, small town in West Virginia. Shout out to West V. Um, one of our number know. one videos on our episode. So, uh, you know, just a small town kid came up in Phoenix pretty much. That's just why, you know, yeah. got the name for myself, I should say. For sure. So in Arizona, grew up there, the football I got to talk about states. Come on. Come to it. Let's talk about it. So what are your top five states of football, high school football? So high school football. I can tell you Arizona ain't up there, but go ahead. I'm going to tell you Arizona's definitely up there. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You in the right? Yeah, I Come said on, state. it. We can, we can talk see. that talk. Um, well, obviously, you got to go with your Texases, right? It's just great football up there. California, great football up there. Um, you get No specific order, just – Five in general? It's kind of been hard. You know, if I'm basing it off of me coaching and moving around, playing sevens, playing youth tackle football, Backs. everything just it, it, it differentiates. From which, okay. Right. Okay, but um, when you get into these one-on-ones, what I'm traveling down with my co-host doing right now, you know, it varies as well. So I'll have to throw Texas, California, um, Florida in there, obviously. Alabama just surprised me. Um, I'm going to be honest. Arizona, I have to put in there because I'm biased to it, but Ohio showed me a lot. And I've been mixing oh. and mingling in Ohio. That's where my manager's stationed out okay. here. So okay. he brings me out here quite a bit to do some work, and I've established some training and some networking with these uh, different teams and different guys out here that I train, and it's a lot of good football out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm eager for tomorrow, but yeah, a lot of guys <laughs> are going, are going to shoot me down. Now, I can tell you different places as far as different positions where I've seen different talent. I've seen some good DBs come up out of Washington, D.C. Yeah. Actually yep. had a call, in, I was calling in Washington, D.B., um, Florida, the speed and the agility down there. Mm -hmm. Texas is the all the way around football player. The, the size, the look, you know, the speed, everything. California, you get a, the athletic football player. Mm -hmm. What you get in Arizona, right? The skill set, the IQ, the attention to detail, the fundamental, the technically sound football player. So if you do your research and you go, man, you the talking about the dudes you coach? You know, everybody. <laughs> that's a whole. You talking about the guys you coach? Shout out that to the dudes that, that I coach. You right? big dog. Shout out to the dudes that I coach. <laughs> Not everybody but, there, but bro. Listen, yeah, but look, look who we got out there. You know, you got a uh, what? Chandler Jordan in the league. You got um, yeah, Byron Murphy from out there. Obviously, mm -hmm. Keely Ringo. You got Denzel Burke, one of y'all guys at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. That's an Arizona kid. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna leave a lot of guys out there, but just different what. Terrell Suggs, like over the years, when you, yeah. When you look back at these guys, you know they you produce good guys. Man, we can even go back as old. Vontez like, perfect. I'm sorry, I got to drop that name. Perfect. What you think about him? Is he's a dog? That's right? my dog. He played with my boys, uh, Chris McKenzie, and all these boys uh, at ASU. Daryl Robinson. Shout out to my guys, the Manimal D Rob. 
But uh, I don't like what he did to AB. You don't like what he did to AB? I'm a Steelers fan. Y'all see it, Cowboys, man. Yeah. He didn't have to do uh, Salute to America's team, the Cowboy. But, uh, oh, man. Dang. Nah, you know, I, I, I like football players. Now, when sure. it's within the confine of the game and the lines, I was one of them chippy guys, man. I was one of them hard nose. We doing whatever we doing, mm-hmm. we doing it. You know what I mean? But it's also in good battle, in good competition. You know, I'm going to talk my talk. You whoop me, I'm going to still talk. But I'm going to get up on the line again. You know, I'm going to continue. I was definitely one of them. Now, my son, he ain't the same as me. But, you know, we played it back. You guys seen I was getting ready. I'm kind of mellow. I played it back. For sure. When we hit them lines, it's whatever. You know what I mean? Already. It's, it's a mentality. So, um, Vontaze. Yeah. Ahead. No, I threw, you, I threw you off with the Vontaze. But I want you to continue to go on with the athletes you said. And uh, Oh, okay. You know. So, the athletes based out of Arizona, like I said, there's so many of them that we could just uh, keep naming them. But we got quarterbacks. It was a point in time. I think the last couple of seasons, you had a lot of quarterbacks coming from out of there. My good buddy Bobby Wade. I remember you was a Vikings fans as well. You know, yeah, no doubt. You guys had my boy B Wade for years. Yeah. For years, I was my childhood friend. Um, it's a lot of different guys, man, that come up out of there. But like I said, the athlete that comes from there is technically sound. You're a quarterback. Mm-hmm. You got to know Rodney P came from Arizona. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? Of so, course. I when you get that. to doing your research and you get to dig in the guys that come from up out of there, it's like, oh, you know, we've put out some good quality guys. Mm-hmm. But as far as a football state. Not into the past five years. You'll get your Challenge, you'll Respect. get your Saguaros, you'll get your Hamiltons. Mm-hmm. They're always ranked nationally. But as far as just a powerhouse football state, high school-wise, no, as of late. You know what I mean? I, I won't give a status now, but they, they coming up the ladder, man. It, so what type of athletes do you get here in Ohio? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be honest, man. Hey, there's some dogs out here. So I've seen some good receivers. I've seen some good DBs. I, I train a good, uh, you know, shout out to Lil Dre. Um, a plethora of DBs out here. Antoine as well, like. It's some good athletes. And then, you know, just being that this is where football originated. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Shout out to the football state. Can't mm-hmm. know how I know what it is. All uh, long. You know, I've been up there several times. I used to play in the arena league to where we saw we have to play up there in Canton as well. So, um, you know, it's just good football. It's good stock. But you get athletes out here. So, you know, you'll get a mixture of wide receivers, DBs. I was out at the scrimmage today in Westerville North. Yeah. Uh, checking shout out guys. West North. Shout out to the West North. Yeah, man, North. shout out to those guys, man. Shout out to Coach Jackson, Beanie Wells, all them boys over there. Just appreciate y'all having us out there. Yeah. Um, just hosting the hosting the uh, whole one on ones tomorrow, but I uh, had Glenville out there from Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Cleveland. yeah, and then the other team, Madison Trotwood, so, Madison Trotwood um, out of Dayton. Now yeah. I'm gonna tell you since we speaking on high schools because I'm a high school coach myself as well back in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, while I was at Central High School now over at Cesar Chavez, um, the structure yes, of Westerville North today, like the coaching staff, the quality of coaches, the alumni. I mean, that was they had an NFL caliber staff, yeah. literally in yeah. high school. Yeah. So, yeah, all those guys. And then guys, when you man. looked at the organization, not to take anything from the other programs, mm-hmm. but when you look at the organization of those programs versus the kids that they were playing today, it was kind of like it was it was night and day. Yeah. Did they, they whoop on them? Um, they didn't necessarily whoop on them, but they moved the ball most consistently on offense. Uh-huh. Most, you know, on offense, on defense, they was coming up feeling. And then shout out to that safety number two. I was talking trash to him earlier. I forgot my young boy name, but shout out to the safety number two over there at Westville. Coming up, you know, filling that lane, that safety. It's Discipline. not a hard thing to do. These guys are lining up in our formation. You know, it's a new area. Everybody's right. spread. Everybody yep. read option. These boys just, you know, double tight, lining up. Our force running down. I mean, our, our formation running downhill. My yeah. little young boy coming up smacking. You know what, what I mean? Yeah, so, what year is he? You yeah. know, the year he I don't, don't. He has, he has six time. offers. There's okay, another one. They got, they got a a, quite a few offers over there. I think he is a junior. But uh, he a dog, man. So, guys like that, you know, just you know, I, I like to see those type of Tough kids, still. for sure, because it's a generation there. These kids ain't so tough. I come mm-hmm. from that, you know, last era where you, it was okay to be tough. Um, so that's a lost art. But what I did see today was an athlete and the toughness, and that's another thing. These Ohio kids are pretty tough. They're very there. disciplined yeah. too, man. Yeah. Very, very. West North, yes, sir. So, yeah. yes, sir. Um, and this is the last thing I'm gonna say about. It. I know, you know, when you said Florida, that's the speed, and then you know, you got Texas, which got the size and speed. Yeah, you just jog mm-hmm. my memory. I, like, I, I, I can remember as we talked. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> I just think that. Ohio, we got that size, that. speed, yeah, and the IQ. The IQ. So that's sure. what I give you. I, I got IQ. Yeah. Y'all got IQ, and they got technique, man. So when I was out here, uh, so that puts us above everybody else. Then, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought he was gonna leave us off the I, list for a second. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> leave us <laughs> off the list. And my West Virginia people gonna be like, Coach, you always talk about West Virginia bragging. I ain't leave West Virginia off the list, but at the end of the day, there's pockets of West Virginia for, for sure. sure that have good yeah. talent. You know what yeah. I mean? So shout out to those pockets of West Virginia. Obviously, the Oak Hills, obviously, the Huntingtons, Morgantowns, uh, Wheelings. They got some good kids up there. Okay. But just states as whole, you know what I mean? They were still kind of running behind. But I definitely throw Arizona in that conversation any day, based on the last five years. Man. What you think? I like you that, see? right? 
I mean, you know, being biased, you know I'm going to put OH on top. You know what I mean? I but I, I, nah. No, I, I mean, it. I finished I it. You said OH part. That's cool. He That's a pissed cool. guy. He said OH. I said IO. That's That's cool. so we know what you there really like, go. but go ahead. For the sake go. of the topic, I'm going to just say that. Yeah, you'll never hear me put that all together. Man. Shout out <laughs> to my Penn State people out there yeah, for that, sure. That, for sure. Nittany Nation, you know how it go down. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, me being biased, me being from Ohio, and, you know, me rocking with A-Train since the very beginning, yeah, man, you know, we can compete with all of the all of the squads, all Absolutely. of the teams, all of the states that you mentioned. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like the spirit of competition here in the state of Ohio. Yeah, no. So these guys definitely get turned up. And uh, when I was out there, I think I kept mentioning it to you today. It was just a football atmosphere. Absolutely. Sure. It was just like, man, football. And everywhere you go, you got you got Beanie Wells out here. You got Ted Gidd, Junior Ted Gidd, Senior on the field. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's good football element just all the way around the conversation. Like you said, the kids had IQ. They knew what they was watching. They cheering on their compadres it's as far as, you know, being good teammates, so I like that. I'm, I'm, I'm a sports guy. I'm a team guy. So just to be able to see that as a whole, and I'm curious to see how they get down tomorrow. Ooh. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. just, you know, they they talk you. Yeah, when it comes to these one on ones, it's been some, you know, competitive right. states now. As far as the one on one format, I know we're gonna get into that, but yeah, we're talking about sure. one on one. We, we can roll into right now. Yeah, it's in Arizona. that was next. It, oh. it, it originated in Arizona, and we still top five states when it comes to that. To the one on one, to the one on one, hands down. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. Hey, do your research. Go back and start with the Come PS5. On. That's the first one, right? Okay. Come when on. I linked up with D, we did the first episode. We gave away a PS5 and like $500. We looked at each other like we got something here. You know, we spun in black, did a uh, block. We did a nighttime episode. Nighttime episode, we went crazy again. Yeah. Um, we bought a third episode that ended up going viral, you know, and it was just like, man, we got something. We got to get on the road with it. Yeah. But Arizona, you, that's where you'll see the technique and the fundamental, you know. And then Arizona's a training hub as well. As far as you know, the pros and the athletes just coming out there to train because of the weather. You're the weather, right? The weather. Yep. Yeah, so you're going to get a lot of that. And then you're going to get a lot of athlete kids that's out there as well, retired athlete kids as well. So, you know, it's, it's a good regimen for training out there. But as far as the one on ones, I got to put Arizona up there. I got to put Dallas up there. Um, man, energy, that's a different thing, dude. Where we basing off of technique, we're going right. to definitely, you know, Atlanta. Um, mm. Atlanta do good every time. Every video is probably yeah. 10 million plus views. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Both we did Atlanta twice on both of them episodes. Shout out to my dog, Scoobzilla, down there in uh, Atlanta. Shout out to Scoob. Uh, Shout out to Scoob. Mm. Scoobzilla. Uh, Scoobzilla. That's my Zillow. right hand. Uh, Memphis. Memphis went crazy this okay. time around. Pittsburgh went crazy. Yeah, right now, I saw that Pittsburgh episode, yeah, Pittsburgh man. Pittsburgh it looked so, like it really had some I energy. I mean, a lot of people are just catching on the wave right now, but me and D been rocking since 2021. And uh, we've done so many cities. We've done two NFL tours now. So, you know, some of these cities that I'm talking about, guys might not even remember. But right. early on, we used to get after it. You know I mean? Charlotte ended up getting shut down. Charlotte might have been one of the best episodes to come out if we would have been able to got through it. It was, mm -hmm. we got to 20 co uh, competitors, and then it's too much people. It's like 5,000 people on the field. So wow. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, we bring the community out. We bring the neighborhood yeah. out. You know, that's what it's always been about. Even when we start, you know, I can understand the, you know, the celebrity aspect of it. I never get caught up in that. I never... I'm not nobody's idol. I'm not nobody's none of that. I don't got fans. I don't believe in that type I, of stuff. You know, you know what? what? I, I get mean? that sense from you. Yeah, very yeah, down yeah. to earth. So, humble. Yeah, humble. It's a That's humility. Sure. I don't live too Grounded. much life. I try to, you know, stay stay even killed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too high. I want to get too low. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm grateful for all of this. But, you for know, sure. you guys are my supporters. Yeah. You guys are not my fans. I'm not your idol. You know what I mean? I don't idolize no man. You know, right. I have a favorite player. I have a favorite, you know, guys that I for looked sure. up to. But at the end of the day, so it's one of those things with my uh, co-host destroying. Shout out to destroying, giving me the platform. You know, just shout out to destroy all these years. Um, you know that young man, just a smart man. You mm -hmm. know, just pretty much what he did on YouTube. He's turned me on to a lot of stuff on YouTube. I call him my son, son, just based on the, the age. He's right. nearly as old as my oldest son. So yeah. you know, we just built that relationship. But I always told him we we're not charging. We're not going to charge for the event. Um, we don't want to make the people sit in the stands. We want to be able to be those celebrities mm -hmm. you know, that you could touch mm -hmm. and get right back there. to a reach. And, you know, you can sign, you know, sign autographs. We're taking pictures. Obviously, there are situations that have changed that. So, in, in a nutshell, that's what this was built on, just community, giving back, you know what I mean, just being in mm -hmm. touch, being in tune, and not being bigger than what we're here to do. And I think it's serving a purpose, you know what I mean, just getting kids exposure to whole nine. Yeah, man. And that event has taken the country by storm. And we, yeah. I, I just want to form, you know, to tell you, we appreciate you. You know, no. guys, finally coming on up to Ohio yeah. and putting on. Long I know, overdue. I know. I know Columbus is gonna show up tomorrow. Yeah. I know it's gonna be a showdown. You know, I'll be there. 
Yeah. Train will be there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, somebody said he's going to be throwing tomorrow, but I don't know. Listen. Listen, if he's throwing, I'm running routes. I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Uh, listen. It's, 10, it's 10K on the floor. Listen. You know what I mean? So, you know, in terms of the quarterbacks, are there specific ones that you pick out, or nah, can anybody so, just hop in? So for the, the, the a lot of guys ask that question. So pretty much as far as the quarterbacks goes, it's just you know first come first serve. I got it. You know, kind of like the eye test. We know what a quarterback look like, and then in the evaluation round, you got guys out there running routes trying to get these bands for deal. Yep. You know, receiver coaches or whatnot. Right. So as they're running the routes and you know getting evaluated, we also looking at the quarterbacks. We'll give kids opportunity to throw early on, but, you know, we start to narrow it down to about three main guys. For sure. And then we get to the money round. If it's one guy that's locked in, you know, then we go on with him. But, um, you know, just by the grace of God, we've had guys like Michael Vick come throw. We've mm-hmm. had um, Cam. Shout out to my dog, Cam Newton. Shout out Cam. <laughs> hey. Ace hey, Boogie. Hey, that's your boy. That's my dog, Cam. That's my dog, Cam, man. That's my dog, Cam, man. No, no, you know. That's my dog, Cam, man. It's a backstory. In Atlanta, hey. man. Hey. Hey. Uh, we just said it one time on the episode. Come on, man. Yeah. He don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, real quick. You know, well, uh, yeah, well. they always have, down in the land, they always have a real big flag football tournament or yeah, whatever. This yeah. was some years back. I want to, I'd probably say about seven years. Okay. Seven, eight years. And I went down to play with my best friend, uh, Walt Lacey. Shout out to Walt. He brought me down. Man, uh, the, you know, the, the, the fields was packed. They had all the teams together. Cam had his own team. Yep. yep. And, you know, he played wide receiver. He never played quarterback down there or whatever. Nope. But, like, he had a little setup, had his friends and all that, <laughs> little entourage. J&E. I remember him going, you know, he had the big towel over his yeah. head and the big C1 in cleats yeah. and all yeah. that. And I saw him. I walked up to him. He had the towel over, had a little Gatorade. I was like, hey, man, big fan of yours, big dog. I appreciate yeah. all of you do. Big fan. Big fan. That man stuck his fist out like this. <laughs> I said, hey, bro, I play quarterback too, man. You can do a little better than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do a yeah. little better than that. He's like, hey. my bad, dog. Y'all Clap about to up, say, you know man. man. So hey. shout out to Ace Boogie, man. You tried hey. to big time me, but I wasn't going to let that ride. I did. Hey. He, so he I, tried. I, I he tried. Some, I got some footage <laughs> you know on there where we was at the Super Bowl event this past year. We was at the um, – the flag game, the Super Bowl celebrity flag game. Yeah. That's my dog. Like I said, we go, yeah. we battle each other. I coach 707 as well, so I see the C1N. Shout out to the whole C1N nation. But um, I came in, you know, he, he's Cam. He's sitting down yeah. like royalty yeah. in the chair, legs crossed, and everybody talking to him as such. You know, they standing up while he's sitting down. I go to, you know I'm not about to talk to you like that, you yeah. know. So, you know, being Cam in true fashion, he stood up, greeted me, you know, Paid homage, but he's a real life down to earth dude. dude sure. Somebody yeah. near and dear to my heart because what I do, he does, and he does it. And a lot of people don't know the money that he invested with these kids, the travel, the giving back, and the families that he's taking care. Of. I've been to yeah. the compound in Atlanta. I've dealt with him. You know what I mean? So shout out to that guy. Shout out to his whole corp or you know organization. We're supposed to be cooking on some things. Um, y'all might hear it here first. Three v three. So we got the one on ones that we know mm. created, but. We worked and we've been cooking Ooh. for the past couple years. You know, Cam, I said it now, Cam D. We got to make it happen now. You know, we done hey been man, y'all got to make it happen. You heard my man. Make it happen. So make it happen. You gonna bring your quarterback, bring yeah. your receiver, bring your DB. Ooh. That's your guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it, we, I got the blueprint behind. Yo, we all got the blueprint. This is it, this gives like a like an and one mixtape for football. Hey, man, like yeah. Phil, I love it to bro. the people in the back. Man. I'm telling you, man. So <laughs> I love, I love hey, that. Shout I love out that my work, manager man. James Johnson over there. He knows exactly what we yeah, doing. He knows exactly sure. what I'm doing. Shout out James. Hey, hey, and then for the fact that you just said it, that's what it is. Yeah, so man. when we when we got it going, and I just give you a quick backdrop on it. Um, it originated as Flex Friday. Like I, I was doing this on the corner of Arizona, and they, everybody been doing one on ones for years. For sure, yeah. I don't want to get that misconstrued. I don't want everybody thinking that coach thinks he started one on ones or uh, destroying thinks he started one on ones. We started this structure, we started this format, and it's derived out of something. So it was called Flex Fridays. Like I said, I'm a father, I'm a mentor. I train to have a home gym, so I just you know I want the boys not to be on the block. So at the end of the day, I op- I made a gym at my house. So for years, you know, guys would come and train with me out of my house, out of my gym. I have two big fields next to my house. You know, we call them OTB fields. So they'll talk trash throughout the week. A lot of these guys that I just named. And then on Friday, we call it Flex Friday. We're going to yeah. pull up to the spot. We're going to work out for an hour. And then on that back end of the hour, we're going to do our, you know, one-on-ones. King of the Hill. Show so up. a lot of these winners that you've seen, you know, Keeley's been on the episodes. Um, Rashi Hodge. These guys will just go out there and compete on Friday. So we'll do it every Friday, Flex Friday. And then um, when I end up meeting Destroying at a 707 tournament, he was covering everybody once in a while. We always we met. So he was at a 707 tournament. He was covering on my team, um, OTB Elite. Uh, shout out to the Pylon, Miss Erica Barron, and everybody over there at Pylon. 
was at a pylon event. My team's playing. His cameraman at the time, shout out my dog David Rassi, um, got the camera on me. I said something. I turned to the camera. He was like, Coach, say that again. You know, I'm mid coaching mode. I coach for real. So, right. hey, man, this ain't scripted. You don't get up out of my face with that camera. And I turn and yell at the ref, like, y'all just let anybody on the field with cameras and stuff. He over here holding. You can't even. You know, I'll be losing at the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a politic and trying to, you know, the, divert or whatever. So uh, at that time, I noticed Dave turn to D and tell D, hey, I like this coach. You know what I mean? So I go to the sideline. My kids are like, coach, you just cussed out destroying. I mean, y'all getting y'all little destroy it out yeah. here. I don't care about no destroying, you know. So they come up. D comes to our sideline. They're like, coach, we go, me, D, we going to win. We got backflips for you and everything. We end up coming back, beating ground zero. Yeah, I'll say the OTB Elite. Nah. Ground zero. You <laughs> Talk know, it there. You know the Shots. beef. Shout out to OTB Elite 707, one of the innovators of the 707 game. Not the new 707, the original 707. We'll talk about that later because I, I like what they're doing, but it's kind of going left. Anyway, yeah. um, we, we beat ground zero. My kids go turn up with D. Um, I end up seeing that episode and just clicking through YouTube. I'm like, oh, that's the kicker kid that, you know, bucked his scholarship or whatever, you know, did his thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he covered us. I end up seeing him again in Vegas telling him, you know, I got wind of him being in Arizona. If you in Arizona, you doing any type of work, you need to come see about me. I'm on the west side. Sure enough, after a championship game, he called us like that following Monday, like, coach, you ready to work? You know, uh, can you put a 707 tournament together? I was like, nah, I can't do no 707 tournament this fast. But, uh, you know, there's this thing that I do called Flex Fridays. You know, I might be able to get some of my guys out. And I sent them a film of what we do. Like I said, I'm, I'm from the era where I yeah. ran from the cameras. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've been filming since 2008, 2009. But putting it out there and doing it, these are just receipts. And this is just for, you know, my memoirs. For sure. Because I came from that era. Mm -hmm. We ain't shucking and jobbing for the cameras. Mm -hmm. And we don't want them on us like that. So, uh, but I did have this Flex Friday. So I sent them to think a, a film of Keely and one of my kids, Jaleel Walker. Shout out to my baby Jaleel, Jaleel Walker, Western Kentucky wide receiver. They're going at it. So D was like, man, you, you think you could do that, OG? You think you could put that together? So that's when you look at the first PS5. He's like, I'll come out there and give a PS5 away and, you know, some uh, money and some shoes or whatever. So that's the first episode. You look at the first couple of them, everybody got the OTB gear on. Mm -hmm. It's invite only. So the first two, three episodes was invite only. So that's how we linked up, man. He's been a solid dude ever since. We built yeah. this platform. But when we were getting going, I told him to go back to your point about the N1 mixtape. Um, I would keep saying it to him, like, hey, man, this about to be the N1 mixtape of football. I'm telling y'all, man, we're going to go to city See? to city. Yeah. And we going to, you know, they kind of look at me like, yeah, yeah half like, smile. Yeah, yeah. That feel, then, But you believed it. But yeah. I believed it. But I understood. Yeah. But they wasn't looking at me because they didn't believe it. Them boys was too young. <laughs> you know, I got so you. I can't know that one mixtape. One mixtape. Yeah. So I came yeah. up, met him with uh, shout out to Go Get It and all these guys, mm -hmm. Tony and all them boys mm -hmm. from the N1 era. We yeah. was with that movement. You know what I mean? So me, shout out my dog, Ross 500. Um, me, D, Ross 500. We sat on the back of D's condo in Scottsdale and we watched about two hours of the N1 mixtape. I'm like, yo, I'm D, this is what we're doing. This is what we. Right. So it's no coincidence that's the format that you see. Wow. So, the kids is. traveling from state to state and doing all that. But it's definitely, you know, get guys opportunity. The money started off small. Start off with the PS5, you know, all that's, you know, coming from D. He does his thing with that. Um, we built it up to 1500 then it was 2000 then 5000 But, you know, introducing guys like Travis Hunter, Ross 500, yeah. um, Nico Iamaliva, just so many different kids. Like I said, we've had, uh, what's the quarterback, Eli Manning come out and throw. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, just so many Kirk uh, Bankart from the Packers. So a lot of these guys come out and just enjoy the event, man. So it's, it's just doing it's, – it's making history, you know, and it's one of those things that hopefully it's changed somebody's life in the process, giving somebody hope. I love it, man. I, th I think that's so dope, man, that athletes, no matter what level you played, how successful you were, oh, man, get off the couch. and then they'll come out and be a part of this. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. It gives the youth something to look forward to, mm -hmm. um, to look up to. I mean, I want to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So – and it's just – be able to give these kids a, a, a platform to showcase their talent yep. in front of millions of people on YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's mm -hmm. awesome, man. Yeah, that's so awesome. At the end of the day, is what you said, give these kids opportunity to showcase their platform. A lot of these boys don't even care that, you know, they're not even really for the money. Right. Coach, I want to show you I can ball. Coach, yeah. I want to show you I can head top. I can strap. Coach, I'm a strap as well. So they just want their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, not for put real. your name on the map, <laughs> put mm -hmm. your state on the map, mm -hmm. put your gang on your map. I'm not out here talking about put your colors on the map, blue and red. Put your gang, put your section on, put the boys you grind yeah. with every day. Yeah. Put your high school on, put your partners that you be, you know believe in each other. That's your gang, man. Put yeah. your family on the map. So, you know, just an all-positive spin. And, you know, now if you 
like I said, I'm OTB is outside the box, but it's also off the block. You know, that's where I come mm -hmm. from. So at the end of the day, take that same mentality you had with the hustle on the block, with the movement and being down for whatever, and put that into something positive, man. You know, yes, no sir. excuses, just result. Think outside the box, anything can happen. So that's what this movement is. And I, I felt like I felt uh, flew under the radar, Juco kid. Like I said, I played arena ball, didn't have the big name behind me the whole nine. So I would have to try harder in um, workouts or when I'd be on the field with the NFL guys. Like I, I really that have now. to sit there and go 11, 12 yeah. reps. So I was the one on one guy. Like mm -hmm. I, this format I do because I was that competitor, that dog yeah. coach. We ain't going home to all 15 of y'all beat me. You, yeah. know, mm -hmm. you ain't going to beat me. You know, that's the mindset. So for you to be able to go through this competition and beat 15, 20 guys, I respect it because I know where that's coming from. And that's the same way that I train my athletes and the mm -hmm. kids that I'm around. That's what makes them elite. That's what makes it's a mindset. Wow. You know what I mean? There's just no excuses, just results. So, you know, at the end of the day, there's a there's a coach OTB, there's a Jay Allen in every neighborhood. You know what I mean? So put your name on the map, put your state on your map. And if, you know, God provided opportunity for me and destroying to give a platform for that, yeah. that's my due diligence. That's what I'm here trying to do. Message. Let me get that arm loose, man. Yeah, the come on, man. Let me get that hey, arm listen, loose. Hey, listen, we're gonna put this on record man. right now. If he come out there throwing dots and it look like something. I picked him. <laughs> <laughs> if boy come out here skipping rocks, throwing guys into the bleacher, he suggested him. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> hey, listen I, I stand hey, on him right now. He going to be out there dropping him. Dot, drop him. Dot City. Hey, I'll tell hey, you man, that right now. Go ahead. Uh, we need it. Man. And if you don't, I, I ain't got uh, CC we need it. Well, I'm, uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Shout out to CC, my dog on the ones and twos. For sure. Hey. It's uh, it's one of those things. I tell them it's hard for quarterbacks, and they should get more um credibility and credit for what they do on the one sure. on ones, because the time throwing you, blind, yeah, yeah you're throwing blind. You, you never, never throw to these guys. Yeah, never yeah. throw to these receivers, and mm -hmm. half these guys is making these new routes, man. Shout out to all you trainers and all you YouTube trainers, but y'all got these boys playing basketball on the field, and you skip uh -oh. to my loo and you hop into. Oh. I said it. Oh. I said Just hold on for a second. Oh. Just get a moment of silence. Let's everybody look at CC real quick. <laughs> All right, that's cool. He, right, he ain't so. got to say too much. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's called man. confirmation. Man, listen, that's something man. I tell athletes all the time. Like, yeah. it ain't about what you see on YouTube and how good it look on film. Oh, like, man. when are you going to actually apply that? When are you yes. going to use it? Drop your hands yeah, if you want to. You're going to be in the freaking dirt. Talk mm. that Put talk, them hands man. up, man. I don't care how goofy it look. Yeah, be ready yeah, to fight. Down here and yeah. I, I, they line up. It's the old Bell, uh, Odell uh, Beckham lineup. That's why. That boy making his millions. He making it. He could do that. You right. know what I mean? And the cat across him, Marty, making his millions, so he ain't trying to press him and do all. Come on, Listen, man. you got to go through high school. You got to God willing go through the uh, collegiate aspect of it. Somebody going to hit you in your... In, in yeah. Your, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My Say mama watching, but Put somebody going to hit you in your... Right in your hand. For sure. At yeah. the end of the day. Um, but it's it's one of those things. Uh, yeah, that's a lost art right now, just teaching mm -hmm. the old... The, uh, so, the basics. to take back my next point. So, prior to these one-on-ones this year... We jumped out with the Coach OTB Elite Technique and Fundamental Skills Core, I me mean, a uh, skills clinic, just for that, mm -hmm. the basics. Mm -hmm. Basics and techniques and fundamental. I could go out there and I could do all the loop-de-loop, -loop, cross my foot back over, jump, hop, skip. You know, I know all that cute stuff, right? right. 88 cones. But where is it going to transition that to the football game? Mm -hmm. Your alignment, your assignment, your attention to detail. Coach OTB, Triple A's, I preach it every day for life, and I preach it every day on the football field. What's your alignment for my football guys out there? Am I inside and am I outside? I'm on the ball, I'm off the ball. I'm on the numbers, outside the numbers. You know, that's my alignment. That's the first part of my uh, my triple A's. Then it's my assignment. What's my play? Do I got cover two, cover three? I'm a man. Is it quarters? Do I got a dig? Do I got a post? Am I just blocking? All right, boom, that's my assignment. My last triple A, you run around here saying it all day when we set up, ATD. I knew exactly when you said it. Mm -hmm. Attention to detail. That's my last triple A, right? Who's on my side of the ball? Did they switch formations? What's the down and the distance? How many times mm -hmm. left on the clock, right? So my triple A's, if I apply that to the game, right, I should never be wrong. Same thing you apply my triple A's in life as well. Right. Mm. Absolutely. I got to wake up and align myself yep. with the day, what I got to do today. You know what I mean? Just as a, we go to school, go to work. So that's my first A, the transition from the game and sport to life, right, is uh, the alignment. Aligning myself for the day, aligning myself for the world. Then, two, what's my assignment? Go to school, go to work, do my chores, go to football. You know, that's my assignment for the day in life. Then my attention to detail. Attention to detail is just it's everyday life, man. The world don't want you to win. And then mm -hmm. I, I woke up this color this mm -hmm. morning. It looked like y'all did too. So yeah. automatically, that's the attention to detail. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be harder for me when I leave this door. The world don't want me to win. So I say everything that I teach in football, and I love football, and God understands it saved my life. But it's just a catalyst, right? It was just a conduit, a stepping stool for the message and, and for life. So the integrity, the discipline, the character, 
the um, humility, the mm-hmm. love, you know, the camaraderie that the game taught me. Mm-hmm. That's what I teach these kids, and I want you to take that part of the football game and apply that to everything in life, and you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Think outside the box mentality. So that's what it is in a nutshell. That's my message. We see the hooting and hollering. You see Coach OTB out there turning up with my co-host, but uh, it's deeper than that. So when you see this platform, it's to touch somebody. It's to For give sure. somebody hope. It's to get to the next Coach J. The next, hey man, if I could do it, I'm really one of them. If I could do it, because don't nobody even understand it yet. I've always I pray for it. You know, yeah. I believe in a higher power, so I understand what I'm doing. I understand mm-hmm. where I'm at, but I got to understand the assignment as well. So that's what this is about. So a lot of you guys pouring into these young men, uh, money grabbing, taking their money, just Talk to train to them and do all that. that. That ain't what it's about, man. I You check my resume. I trained for years in my garage. I invested, me and my wife, shout out to my wife, years we invested in these kids out of our pockets, Airbnbs, traveling from coast to coast. I'm a traveler for real because it's, it's about the purpose, right? Yep. Never to get nothing back. So a kid to say Coach OTB charged me or did this to me or that, nah, you, you'll never hear that because it was always about the message. And if you came to me, I felt that God brought you to me for a reason, and it was my due diligence to service you. So that's what all this is built for. God connect me with destroying to be able to put it on a platform. We on this platform going crazy. Like you said, it's the N1 mixtape of football, baby. We here now. Bars. I love that, man. It, I get chills just my you know when God. you talk about that. You said something earlier. You said, there's a Jason Allen in every city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With he speaking, bro, you just happen to run into the Jason Allen of the city. Come on. You send him, that's yeah, me. I believe it. Mm-hmm. That's how I am. Yep. You know what I mean? That's how DC is. Yeah. And it's just like when you saying it, I'm just like, dang, that's that and I'm glad that and one I of my athletes that I train. Coincidence. So I know everything is ordained. I'm Come out on, man. ordained. I'm out there today. Just we we watching the scrimmage and I'm just being in my element. It's mm-hmm. football. And, you know, he like, hey, man, you wouldn't happen to be? Yeah. Oh, man, I got a podcast with you. You you coming on my show? Oh, yeah. So I think everything happened for a reason. You know, I f- walked in. I told my manager because mm-hmm. I come from that era. I got to feel it. You know yeah. what I mean? They got to feel right. And then, oh, man, yeah. I like what these brothers got going on. Sure, so, you man, know, at the end of the that, day, man. that's just one of the things to where it happens for a reason. I, and I've i been been through a lot, seen a lot, been around a lot. So I'm not trying to align myself that first A again. I'm not trying to align myself with people that don't have that same like mind. Come on. That same mentality. They ain't preaching the same message because at the end of the day, it ain't about me. It ain't about what I did. It ain't about, you know, it's about what I can help you mm-hmm. with resource wise. For sure. And it's about how I can service you. So that's what this purpose is about. That's what this is a mission. I mean, this mission is about. And then also just being in tune with the community yeah, and mm-hmm. giving back. That's- so. <laughs> what my manager makes sure I do when I pull up in City Honor, we had an episode in Pittsburgh, but I, I've done it so many times. I did it last time I was out here in Ohio. I want to go to the outreach programs. I want to go to the boys and girls clubs. I want to go yeah. to the group homes. I want to go to the at-risk youth. You know, I want to go to where it's hard at or the people that could resonate with me a little bit more because I look like them but mm-hmm. I, and I'm giving them the same message. I know when we was in school, you know, no knock, but the guy, the suit and tie didn't have my same pigment came mm-hmm. and telling me not to do this and not to do that. And out there, I can't wait till this bell ring. Yeah, right. right. But if you came in there, homie, looking like me, and you got a couple of tattoos, yeah, and you speaking my language, and your hair's locked up like me, and you telling me it's okay to do this, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah. Well, it might be okay to do what he's saying. You know yeah, what I man. mean? So we need a lot more of that out there, and that's just who I'm trying to be. I, I'm with all that. Yeah. At the end of the day, I understand that very well. But check this out, man. Love your neighbor. You know Absolutely I mean? sure. Bring, bring you Absolutely. know. Help somebody else out. Mm-hmm. Pass a message, you know, and, and just don't mess up the time and opportunity that you got because you ain't going to have it long, especially in this football game. Y'all know that. Yeah. Bro, you know, uh, us as ex-football players, mm-hmm. we out here just living in the past and probably still showing the highlights. Y'all yeah, highlights on VHS. Yeah. Yeah. All day long, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know man. what I mean? So if I can find a VHS, hey, if y'all got a highlighter coach, man, let me have it. But uh, <laughs> sure. I come from that era, man. But definitely, man, what y'all brothers are doing, this is a, it's a blessed thing. Give them more Appreciate platforms mm-hmm. for guys like me to be able to come give them a message. So, for sure. Bro, Appreciate it. For the longest, there was a little void that I had a trouble feeling, and I didn't know what it was. I moved back to Columbus two years ago and regained everything that I had when my dog trained, and we started working together, and I figured it out. And I figured it out, got to drawing things up, starting thinking about what it is, what it is. It's this. It's this. I always wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than me. Yep. Found it. Yeah. Found it. So hearing you talk the way you're talking, yeah. pouring out to the youth and giving the game that you yeah. always have, that developed over time to pour into the young ones to watch them come up. Yeah. That's what it's all about, it's man. That's, it's that's about that's, the message. It's yeah, about it's what message. y'all doing. It's the sure. platform, man. Mm-hmm. I didn't man, listen. I ain't know I was supposed to do this. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I'm supposed to be playing in the NFL. I'm supposed to be going crazy right now, and I'm yeah. supposed to live that lifestyle, you know, yep. or the other aspect of it coming up to where I came up. I was supposed to be a retired D-boy. You just, I wasn't supposed to be doing what I was supposed to be doing. But when I switched over to what I was doing, 
yeah, you'll see it easy. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. It's like you had that revelation. Yeah, yep. um, Big and, time. It, and it takes a certain type of people. You know, that's one of my prayers that I've always prayed. God, let me be a light. You know, you let your light shine in me. That everybody else may see the light in me and know that I'm be a vessel. There is a God. Yeah, yeah, you know yes, what sir. I mean? Allow me to touch more people than, than it is grains of sins, you know, on the season. Mm-hmm. Boom, we going viral. You know what I mean? 20 million views, 10 million views. So I understand the, the assignment. But now it's just, you know, when we have these platforms, speak about just that. You know what I mean? Not make it about self. Like you brothers asked me beforehand, you know, what we want to talk about. Less as me as possible. You know, right. what I'm doing in the next man as much as possible. So that's so pretty two, much what it's two about. Two things, you know, I so, asked you that, we asked you that question because I think one of our first episode, I spoke about being a servant. Yep. yep. You know? And so when you come here, it's like, hey, how can we help you? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, Whatever comes from this is going to be God given. It's going to come right? for sure. It's and so I'm like, hey, how can we help you? What do you want to talk about? And you're like, man, just whatever. I said, okay, cool. It's going to be organic. But another thing you said, you spoke about, it was just, it just, it felt right. And it's the timing of everything, right? You didn't know you were supposed to do this. Mm-hmm. Not at all. I was just having a conversation the other day with somebody. Like, man, I need to get back on the podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, we had started off, we was, we was cooking. We did the spring game tour. Life happened um, in good ways, all positive things. And we mm-hmm. kind of just fell back. And right. to get a, uh, a text from your manager 30 minutes before I go into work. Wow. And it's like, hey, man, we need to put something together. Long story short, and I'm like, all right, cool. I'll make it happen. I get off at this yeah, time. Told me. And here we go. Yeah, you know, no, I, st- I still slept one hour since I got off, bro. Oh, right, there you go, so, man. See, hey. But it's that confirmation. He's doing this for y'all. You know what <laughs> I mean? Uh, gratitude for you doing it for me, yeah, opening yeah. up your doors. He doing this for y'all, man. So make sure, sure y'all like, man. subscribe, share. It's a message behind all this. Make sure yeah. you like, subscribe, Coach OTB YouTube as well. Yeah, we're going to get all that connected. <laughs> we got IG. For sure. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, drop that again. I thought we were going to pop, pop, pop. Hit the box out yeah. here. <laughs> but no, at the end of the day, that's just really what it's about. Yeah. So uh, shout out to my cousin so you know how they may let We're going to we hold off on that. Okay. Yeah, okay. And, and nothing wrong with it, but, yeah. you know, okay. I just. I, yeah, so know, at the end of the day, that's why yeah. I reached out, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and did made the play happen how it did. For sure. So, so shout out to cousin for sure, though. Shout out to cousin. Much yep. love, much love. Um, I, I don't know, DC, you want to say something? I, I do want to say one, yeah. one thing. Oh, yeah, I want to ask you about your coaching style. All right? Okay. So before you answer that question, yes, sir. I got a quote. Have a seat, you big dummy. Man. You just lined up three series in a row, outside backer, and you the inside backer. You got to have some type of awareness, son, to understand that I ain't lying right. Something don't look right. Do you understand that? Yes, That's from missing practice. That's from not being here when I needed you. So in game time, you don't blow that. Go have a seat and get coached up on. Man, you, you tell me about my coaching style after hearing that. Boy, I, I was with you. I was like, out of hey, seat. And, and, and what he didn't put in there was a brief pause. <laughs> my baby, shout out to my baby, Florida, right? Lucky Destin, that's his name. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, yeah. It was a simple response. It yes, was. sir. Now, you big dummy, I come from that era. But them is my babies. For you know sure. what I mean? These are the same kids that I load up in my vehicle and we drive thousands of miles so I could take you to your first camp, take you to your first, you know what I mean, uh, whatever, tour or whatever the case may yeah. be. So when I'm talking to you and I'm calling you a big dummy, that's like you being in the back of my SUV. Mm-hmm. Like, Come on, you big dummy. What are right. you thinking? Right. You know yeah, what right, I mean? Right. So at that time, yeah, you big dummy. You lined up at outside linebacker and you're the inside backer. You got to have some type of awareness. So when I'm telling them, because you know you get your comment, guys, and I'm trying my best not to comment. First and foremost, I wouldn't call the kid a dummy if I could call him, couldn't call him a dummy. Right, right. right. Two, I'd have been called worse by better people. Mm-hmm. So, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Dang. Three, the mama ain't had no issue with it. Right. He didn't have no issue with it, so get off of that. Right. And then that's just football, right? You big dummy. I could have cussed the boy. I could have did all that. You didn't, you didn't see that. Right. So at the end of the day, your awareness. Mm-hmm. You're the inside linebacker. You've lined up outside backer every play for the last three plays. Well, Coach, why you let him line up about it? I mean, like that. No, we didn't. You're getting corrected. Your teammates are telling you to bump in. You have mm-hmm. and you keep going out there doing it. You have to have some type of awareness mm-hmm. that I'm not aligned right. Mm-hmm. Your first alignment, right? I'm not aligned on. right. Something don't look right here. Mm-hmm. I'm the inside backer. Why are guys outside of me? Why am I? Why are guys inside of me if I'm the inside? So you got to have some type of awareness. But go have a seat. Get coached up on it. Yeah. This is from not being at practice when I needed you, right? Mm-hmm. This is from whatever you were doing because this is this is where it matters at the game time situation. Uh, when the bullets are flying, go get coached up on it. I'm gonna put you back in the game. Mm-hmm. And if you, everybody's like, "Well, coach, he missed practice. Why is he playing?" Well, that was the second half. Right, right. He didn't play the whole first that's half. True. You know what I mean? So that's that's the insides of it. But my coaching style to go back to reiterate, reiterate what you said. 
um, good old fashioned hard nosed coach. I'm the coach that I needed for me. Yep. Right. So I was the fast kid, and shout out to you because I'm a running back by blood. Listen, mm-hmm. tr- uh, train. If they tell me right now that I could go to the NFL and they're gonna give me four plays, I'm gonna say sign me up for running back. <laughs> word, 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 I'm a word, word, back word, from blood. Word, word. Check I mean, y'all out. Man, y'all Gail, hey, Gail Sayers and Mr. Smith, those are guys that I just you know love watching. Um, Eric Dorsett just did you know me Dickerson guys just like that. Tony Dorsett. But anyhow, um, so uh, we'll go back to my point. Coaching style. Yeah, coaching style. Yep. So my coaching style is pretty much being the guy that I wanted to coach me. Everybody used to just tell me how fast I was, how good I was, how, you know, so when I really got around the fast guys and the good guys, you know, junior college, collegiate, all that type of stuff and pros, it's like, hold on, he's just as fast. He just, as, then I really wasn't as fast. Mm-hmm. I really wasn't as good. And I really wasn't. And so and it's kind of like, well, you, you hindered me in areas for my, me thinking that. My attitude right. wasn't right. So my coaching style is just, I seen you handle it with one of your, your pupils that you're dealing with right mm-hmm. now. Just being blunt, just being truthful with them, being honest and telling them what they need to hear at that sure. particular moment. Mm-hmm. That's not going to fly. Mm-hmm. That's not okay. No, be accountable. No, uh, you know, own up in this area or go hard or that's whatever the case may right. be. Because now if they're working based on knowing that information, it looks different. And um, even a uh, shout out to Deion Sanders, my mentor, guy that I grew up just watching, you know, uh, adoring his playing style and just patting my game after Put everything into my son after Deion. <laughs> whatever Deion said was law. So when mm-hmm. I'm coaching my son and training my son, it was law to him as well. Right. Sure. Um, by the grace of God, you know, through everything that I'm doing right now, was able to get, you know, mentored by Deion, still stay in contact with Deion, him, Daryl Green, some of the vets. I need my kid after Nias Williams, you know. So I, wow. you know, I like DBs and my other kid, Ty, after Ty Law. Okay. So, um, okay. you know, I come from that type of area. Shout mm-hmm. y'all. So uh, I was down there at Deion, I mean, uh, at Jackson State, and we was having a conversation. And um, I asked him, I said, yo, you know, I come from Phoenix, and a lot of these parents think I'm hard on the kids. A lot of them think I'm, dis- you know, a real disciplinary type coach. Um, he was like, look where you at. And he's like, he got you here with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. He's like, where are these people that saying that at? You know what I mean? Where are they at? Right. And he was like, to be honest, I don't think you hard enough. Mm. Mm. He was like, the old school principles still work. He was like, the hard nose. He said, the old school principles still work. He said, I don't think you hard enough. He said, you could be harder. He said, but if it ain't broke, don't break it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If don't don't change anything from the way that we came up, the way that we was taught the game. And that's just always been my style. I come from that. My pops was military, but he wasn't necessarily a hard military guy, but it was right. still structure. You know gotcha. what I mean? Um, in the home. Um, as far as that, we came up with the grandmas. We came up with the aunties. Everybody in the neighborhood could whoop you. Uh, you had yeah. to go outside and fight. I come from that era. Yeah. So that's kind of how I coach. I love yeah. you. You my son. I'm a father first. Yep. Then I'm a mentor. Then I'm a coach. But I'm also your homie. I'm your big brother. I'm your uncle. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm all that to you. So when Dion told me that, then I turned around and watched that boy uh, run them 13 flights of steps, man, about about 50 uh, 50 times. Oh yeah, I ain't hard enough. Went back around the mess right. out of my kids. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, I think I'm a hard nosed disciplinary coach, but at the same time, I love hard on my boys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like them is my babies. No way you know, to them be. is my sons. Yeah, definitely. They can get anything they want from me. So we keep good relationships. <laughs> We, we, we talk, sorry, DC. You no, you're good. No, no, go ahead. We talked about something earlier. We talked about this generation of athletes. Yeah. They're a little soft. Yeah. Charmin. Little soft. Do you find it a cut. challenge to oh. be who you are and change up for them? Mm. Or do you continue to be the same coach that you are so, and say, forget the kid, he got to toughen up? That's a great question, man, because there's a lot of prima donnas out there. Um, and I'm not taking nothing from nobody, but it's a lot of prima donnas out there, especially when they get these stars behind them. I deal with star. them, four stars, the five stars, the three stars. Mm-hmm. It's they're entitled. Mm-hmm. Me, and my own kids, me, and my own biological kids. They just entitled yeah. nowadays. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's our fault because we raise these kids to the aspect of, well, I don't want them to have it as tough as I had, and I don't want them to have more than I have. So we kind of coddle them in areas. Yeah. And I'm guilty of it as well. Um, but yeah, you get a lot of entitlement from these kids, and it's hard. But at the same time, I don't let. I don't never really flinch or let nobody see me sweat. So even if they mm-hmm. give me a heart, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to coach the way that I need to coach because I get the results. Right. So this style and this method of me coaching gets the results. But, yeah, you get the um, guys that are making money or you get the guys that are, boy, I, so I oh, coach man. I coach the national team. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all my babies. Shout out to Deuce Knight. Oh, man, shout out to, uh, I, I don't know. Don't miss nobody because you know uh, they're going to be on your Jonah head. Williams. Oh, yeah. I love you, Jonah <laughs> one Williams. Way. Number one safety in the nation. Um. It's so many of these kids, man. Uh, but I, I coach team pressure. We're part of the OT7 circuit. So we had all the top uh, top five-star kids in the nation. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And every game that we play, shout out to my baby, Kyron Birdie, too, out of Chicago, one-hand catch phenom. 
um, Josiah Abdullah. Now they just coming to me as I'm thinking about them. Right. But anyway, we had the best team in the, in the nation on paper. We can't win the game to save our life because it's a lot of uh, mm. me, me. Shout out to Justin Denson, Michigan State, um, up out of Rhode Island. Yeah, they play football in Rhode Island too, my baby Justin out there. But anyway, uh, it's a lot of me guys. And then on defense, you get all these five-star, four-star boys on want to play man. Everybody oh, want to play yeah. cover four. Everybody want to, you know what I mean? So I you get a lot man. of that. And then don't yell at me, coach. And they flying in for the weekend. And then we done flew them in. We done took care of everything. So you get a lot of that in time and a lot of ah. that privilege. But not yeah. everybody's like that. Like the ones that I named, you know, the Deuce Knights, Josiah's, um, Kyans, and uh, Jonah Williams. Those guys are bought in. Shout out to my baby C4 as well. Um, uh, Zach Samples over at Arizona State now. Uh, those guys are bought in. Those are still, you can still right. have some good kids out of there. Um, I'm going to have to look some of these guys up. I'm listening. I, I yeah. don't stay on it too much, but. Um, yeah, so the ones I'm naming, they're either them now or they're going to be them. You know what I mean? And these, they, you know, they do all right. So we got them there all across the globe, and I still train a lot of these guys. Shout out to Keytrail Clark with the Cardinals. Uh, man, shout out to his other DB coach, uh, his main guy, uh, Coach Eddie, up out of Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, Devon Wilson, that's my baby, Newt, up and coming, number 27 for the Cardinals. Uh, it's, it's just so many different kids out there that I try to get my hands on and train, you know, just be a factor in their life. 20 I'm, years in the game. 20 years in the game, man, and just really being active on them. Like I said, it started in my garage. I'm a park coach. Shout out to my park trainers. Gotcha. I'm park coaches. You know what I mean? It was just, I was the coach that was on the corner of the park. I'm going to make sure I have a team. I'm going to make sure I'm training. I'm going to make sure we get to that tournament. I'm going to make sure it happens because, you know, I, I'm doing it. You mm-hmm. know, y'all want to do it. This is what we're doing. So, just have so many kids over the year, and they don't always go the way you need it to go. I got kids that's doing bids. You know what I mean? It's so hard. Same way I go to these kids, you know, um, commitment. You know, I got to go to some of these kids' court dates and watch them do, wow. you know, yeah. get sentenced to life. And, you know, that's it's near tough. and dear to my heart as that well. Is. It's tough. You know, you just slept on my couch. You know, my wife cooks for you for years. You love, you know, our cooking or whatever the case may be. And you be staying in the Airbnbs, and you need me to write a letter for what? You shot how many people? And he was just going to the NFL the other day. So, you know, I really deal with life. I really deal with, the, you know, that part of the game. Yeah. And, you know, if I feel like if I could touch one of these kids, give it to one of these kids and, you know, look at me. You know, I come from that and you're going to have to do that. So, at the end right. of the day, that's what this is really about. So. Oh, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes, sir. You motivate me, I mean, you know, to be better. No, y'all motivate you know, I'm already me. self-motivated, but right. whenever I can personally have somebody that I can listen to talk and I'm like, all right, I got to step it up. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, yeah, I, I like that. You know, as a competitor, yeah, by nature, it's nature, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're by a nature. man. Exactly. There's still, still men in the world. So it's like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, yeah, but anyways. <laughs> That's a whole nother. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah let, me, let me bring it, let yeah, me bring it up. You know what I mean? Let me, let me step it up a little bit. So, and we're going to wrap more off camera about some stuff just from hearing you yeah. talk, you yeah, know, yeah, but, definitely. Um, my man, my man got it, you got it rolling, man. And yeah, I, like, man, I'm, love I'm it. glad you can be here. No, I appreciate the hospitality, man. Open the door to awesome. me, man. It's awesome, definitely. Like this I ain't said. gonna be the last time. I, no, I gotta, it's not gonna yeah, be the last yeah. time. Maybe I get some of these guys that I groomed over the years. Y'all come give them that platform. Uh, yeah, sure. We love yeah, y'all gotta get Denzel Burke. He's out here, man. Shout out to Denzel. Shout out to Denzel Vargas. Uh, got gotcha. you. Corner over there at uh, Ohio State. Mm-hmm. He probably a first round draft pick off time. He probably okay. What number? Number 10? Number 10. 10. No, yeah. You already know. Yeah, yeah, Toro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arizona. Is. <laughs> ah, Arizona. Hey, he was born in Youngstown. Yeah, though. That in there. No, yeah. sure. <laughs> what do you know about Youngstown, Ohio? No, I know it's football out there. Oh, and I know it's football that. out there. Wow. No, I know Ursula, Youngstown. stand up, baby. You know what I'm saying? All go. about the U. There we go. We got, hey, we got some dogs. A quick, quick little stir about uh, Ursula, man. Yep. We got some dogs out there. We do. But, okay. and, and I think this was the same when we were growing up. We were Division Four, but we played a uh, D2. D1, you know, D one schedule, D one schedule, because of the, our area, people didn't really want to play us. Oh, you guys recruit this and that. So we would play against these teams, um, and we have decent stats, nothing too crazy. So to get recruited out of there is like they just got average stats, but you don't realize who we playing against. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For example, um, Warren G Harding. Okay. You know they okay. had they had Boom here, and they had mm-hmm. Mario Manningham, Manningham, they had Richard Davis. Maurice a whole Claret. lot, Maurice yeah. Claret. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had a bunch of people, and you know we competing with them. At a lower level, and we may be, even beat them. Like my senior year, we beat yeah, them. Y'all they had all them dudes, and we yeah. beat them. You know, but to be recruited out of a, a school like that, when teams just looking, it's just like, oh yeah, they they got average stats. Yeah, they, they some dogs, and they go to college, and you're like, why the hell we ever recruit this dude? Yeah. You know, yeah. or they go to D two, and they're like, well, what the what? You yes, know what sir. I mean? So. Uh, that's why I always, whenever chance, I, any chance I get, man, I shout out Ursula. Yeah, shout out. We, you you got to shout out your small towns, and that was the whole thing about West Virginia. Uh, even coming up in Phoenix, when we say you're from West Virginia, that, 
black people in West Virginia. Like, right. Don't they just sleep with their cousins and their sisters? That, yeah. and you, you get all that, all that all TikTok, right? As soon as you so, hear that. When your cousin so you, told me she was from, I'm like, ain't no way. She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess yeah. you are. Yeah, yeah. Nah, definitely from West Virginia. So uh, it's one of those things that they play football, man. Shout out to Randy Moss, man. Come yeah. on, man. They mm. talk of football. My you can't, guy. You can't say uh, West Virginia or football without Randy Moss. Shout out to Nitro, oh, Dunbar, like Rand County, all that. Yeah. Um, Charleston, South Charleston. But, uh. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you, you doing right by that. You got to shout out where you from. You got to shout out the ones that fly under the radar. Put your name on the map. Put your yeah. name on the map. Put your school on the map. Yep. So you see how prevalent that is, though. Absolutely. It is. So it just sounds like day an introduction. Day. But it's but real. I'm speaking life over it's real. Yeah. I'm speaking life over the situation like this is your time to shine. Because right. I know if it was me and it was Lil' J. Allen or Lil' Coach OTB and that, I'm, I'm licking my chops. And I hear this man, he I was one of them. Yeah. You coach say run through that wall and... You, you trust me to run through that wall, I'm going to run through that wall. Same way if I was on the block. You wanted me to go, you know, knock his head off, I'm going to go knock his head because that's right. what we're doing. Yeah. So I was always a team player. So at mm-hmm. the end of the day, um, that's the energy that I try to project into the crowd. The what's up, fellas, one time for the one time, the crowd goes quiet. You know what I mean? And everybody's waiting for the uproar, the what's up, fellas. And, you know, everybody like, that's hard. But that was always an energy check. Um, mm-hmm. A little bit of history on that. Shout out to my guy, KJ, Kirk Johnson, up out of the Bay Area. Um, so that was how we would introduce, you know, just greet each other at practice when we used to coach for the Saints. And my uh, dog, Bobby Wade, what's up, coach? What's up, fellas? What's up, coach? What's up? Uh, nah, man, what kind of energy? Y'all ain't ready to right. practice today? Man, I said, what's up, coach? What's up, fellas? Right. What's up, coach? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going back mm-hmm. 15, 20 mm-hmm. years with yeah. that. The body bag break. I'm in the huddle. I'm from the body bag, everything moving. And zip them up, let they sideline sort them out. So you just hearing me break the huddle and <laughs> running back yeah. by design, running back by heart, right? Yeah, yeah. But do you play more more defense? Than so yeah, so and that that happened in JUCO. It was just one of those things, okay. you know. I switched over. There was limited numbers on JUCO and uh, that's the defensive back spot. I had to come in and run, you know, uh, learn a playbook quick. They had a, a thoroughbred stud. I've always had the bow legs, the chicken legs, you know, like probably bow legs. Shoes, you know what I mean? I had the yeah. bow legs. You know, I was a crazy leg. They called me J Crazy Legs Alex. You. <laughs> Didn't know how to tackle me. The bow legs is coming all kind of ways, and I ain't getting tackled on the first Damn. run. And I had, you know, blazing speed. My son played safety like that. I had to critique his form just over the yeah. years. But um, anyway, so the defensive side, it was one of those things. I was uh, I was doing a camp down at uh, ASU, not ASU, U of A. This is when I was in JUCO. I was out there working out my dog, Bobby, them, you know, Lance Briggs. Everybody went to U of A. So I'm in JUCO, but I'm down there working with these guys, and I was playing receiver at the time. So I already transitioned from running back. Mm-hmm. Now I'm playing receiver. But I, as a receiver, this is why they ended up moving me to DB because the coach was like, I love your energy, but I don't need a receiver at the line snotting and foaming at the mouth. You know, mm. I was always aggressive. Mm-hmm. I'd be in the backfield. I'm ready to turn up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he's like, you might want to try a safety or DB. So this is how I got over there. Shout out to my dog, Michael Jones, <laughs> from Texas, former U of A guy. I'm lined up on the line. He he, he jammed me. He smacked me in my back. I mean, he must have lifted me and, you know, embarrassed me. We doing seven got on seven. Got Got me out of there. Yeah. So I'm a competitor, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can do that too, nigga. Hold on. What you? Yeah, straight so up. I went straight to the defensive side of the ball, you know, and did it to my dog Valentine up out of Houston. But he was for U of A. I was down to Phoenix College, ju- uh, junior college mm-hmm. at the time. So after Joe Lovett jammed me like that, I came back on it, jammed him up, and it just clicked. You know what I mean? So when I went back, um, me and my right hand man, we we're the two best receivers at the same time, but we we're also the two most athletic guys. My guy, Davis Alasco from Buffalo, his right hand man as well. Um, he had came for playing quarterback. They didn't want him to play quarterback there. He turned it to the number one receiver. I was a number two receiver, but we were just still athletic. So they was mm-hmm. like, hey, man, you boys could both go to defense and start right now. So it's kind of one of those conversations, you know, we, before we go into the bungalow, exit in spring ball, I mean, what you going to do? Yeah. Like, you, you get, yeah. Go over there and take this defense. So at that point in time, me and my right hand, Zesco, the other half, OTB, we, uh, you know, that's we trained ourselves how to play DB. Mm-hmm. And I ain't have no right. coach. Shout out to my dog, Boog, um, Larry Jones. Played for the Arizona Rattlers for a year. I met him in the gym, and he kind of, like, took me under his wing, uh, helped me get into the arena game. But other than that, I, you know, taught myself how to backpedal, ran drills all day long. So everything that you see me doing, the DB, the specialty, yep. that came yep. over years of just putting yeah. it into myself and then mm-hmm. putting it into my homeboys and, and then my kids and the kids in the area. So it's really a craft. Really so what's the body game. bag whole thing, you know? The body bag, man, kill everything moving, zip them up, man. But you, you was a hitter? I was, I was that. I was you was that. a hitter. What was, what was it? Uh, like, what was your size? My size, so my playing size, my good playing way, I'll be at 185, 187. Okay. Oh, okay. But I was a light right. corner, so a light safety. So, I, you know, I could fluctuate between 178 to 192. Anytime I got Missile. like, yeah, anytime yeah. I got to like 197, 
hamstring pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull growing. So, so you downhill with it. Though. Yeah. No, I was downhill, but I'm a ball hawk. So if you ever Ooh. see my son, you want to get some good highlights and you have fun, watch my son Tavian Allen up out of Arizona. His high school highlights and his uh, Juco highlights just fly around the field. So I was one of them. Gotcha. I was a mm-hmm. ball hawk. When gotcha. I say ball hawk, I don't care if it's a run play. I don't care if it's a pass. If I'm at safety, I want to be where that ball's at. Even if I was at corner, if the ball's on the right side of the field, I'm on the left field corner. Yeah. I'm trying to be by the ball. So, and that's one of the things. I was a 50 fitter hit, hitter a long time because I'm coming in trying to clean it up right now. I'm like, I'm gonna bounce off you. Or I'm gonna knock you out. It's either or. Over the years, I became a short tackler. One of them, I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna yeah. make sure I get the tackle. So, Respect. um, I was an athlete, man. So mm-hmm. the one on ones was dear to my heart. I was the man corner. I don't care what y'all doing over there, coach. Lock me up. And then when we mm-hmm. was at free safety, you know, safety was my natural position. But, you know, I, I challenged myself by going down the corner. I wanted the more <laughs> competitiveness. You know what I mean? So, hey, uh, hey, coach. Yeah. How you hitting him if he run an ISO and get so to I'm the third be honest, level? Everybody like, I'm going to chop him down. He big. I'm going to come at your face. And that's, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I just said what it is. I, I yeah. didn't, I, yeah. I didn't flinch. I yeah. didn't stutter, right? Yeah. Because that's the mindset. That's the mindset. Now, did I say that I'm going to knock him out? Yeah. No, but I'm going to try to put my face mask through his face. Yeah. Listen, I didn't, I'm going to tell you why. I don't know if y'all know Brian Bondsworth. I don't know if y'all know Bo <laughs> Jackson. But I seen that boy get kneed. Yeah. yeah. And get knocked out by mm-hmm. every right. I, I have a phobia of yeah. missile attack. Mm-hmm. I was never that DB that's going to come cut you. Because if you, you can hop over me, I've been jumped over. That's the worst feeling. And you can hit me with that <laughs> knee and knock me out. So I'd rather take my chances at running at your face. And guess what? Speed equals velocity equals power. Come on. I was fast. Yeah. But so, you were in your 40 in. Yeah, me, 436, 437. Shout out to Coach Mo up out of Arizona. Uh, rest in peace, Coach Jones. When I got to junior college, I was running a 442, 444. Wake up, sh- house shoes on. I was a straight hood, baby. You know, we run yeah. for the police and hop fences mm-hmm. and do all that. So <laughs> yeah. I, I thought running with your head back, bow leg across your head. That was it. I thought was it was it. fast. So I got with Coach Jones up out of New York. He was at Phoenix, uh, Phoenix College, my track coach. Hey man, you ain't as fast as you think you need. Man, coach, you just see me run that four one four. Me a four four one, blah. No, your form, your technique, da da. So he actually, he, he told me I should be running four three fours. He got me down to a four three six or a four three eight that particular season. So I was a fast guy, but I was also light too. I you just know love I mean? that so, response. Nah, I love the I'm, response. Listen, the second they see somebody like that, they automatically say they gonna chop them down. That's what. Guess I, what yeah. I'm gonna tell my kids. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them to chop I love them that down response. and gang tackle you because that's smart. Me on the field, safety, and you know you broke that. What is it? What type, what, of, what type of back you think I am? I think you're a looser back. I think you got twinkle toes, believe it or not. I think you might be nimble. So you might get going downhill, but I think you got a nice side step to you. You know, just built off your frame because you top heavy, but at the same time, you got an agility look to you. So I would think you'd be nimble through the hole, bounce, you know, could cut back. But at the end of the day, if you need to lean on somebody, you lean. You know what I mean? I don't think you was always a big, big back. So I think you might have grew into that over the years as well. So. I think it's actually the opposite. I'm about to say that dude <laughs> big for as long as I know. I wouldn't say po- I wouldn't say power. <laughs> I'm balanced, but it was actually the opposite. So I didn't want to hit somebody. Oh my god, oh, he wanted that contact. Yeah. That's why when you yeah. said you in my face, look I look for it, bro. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, hold on. So he you see these beef. lines around here, bro? Yeah, we create a beef. We, I'm we, a freaking we, lion, bro. Yeah, we no, don't get a beef. All right, let me, let me we would create a beef. You know there what I mean? Is. There it is. So if that I was just your mindset yeah, on yeah. the show. Yeah. I love no, it. No, I love it because that's that no, no mindset, and then we playing against each other. Coach, I know he's trying to smack me. They're going to keep running the ball because he can't get, get, run the safety up. Then I'm going to try to match your energy. Yeah. Hey. I'm one of them. It's 50 50. I love that, man. It's 50 50. But after a while, I got older and I got smarter. I just want to get the tackle. <laughs> Likewise. Likewise. Yeah, Likewise. I just want to get the yeah, tackle. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Back, you want to just get the yardage, you know, get smart about yourself. But yeah, early on, man, we wasn't ducking no smoke. No, no. no. Like, this is the same thing being on the block fighting. You know, right. everybody ducking him. I'm going to fight him because yeah. everybody. You know, oh whatever happened, I'm just going I'm gonna run the fade. Man. Real talk. And he then you get older, you get smart, and people want to shoot people. You like, you know what? It ain't even worth fighting. I'm walking away, bro. I'm going to tell you my, fir- my favorite on. line. That's why I tell you, no, that's a good point because you know we have to mention this, man. After yeah. all the coach OTB, the destroying one on ones, any of our events, we've never had any violence. You got little scruffles here and yeah. there. You know, it might be some inner pocket stuff going on, but as far as the event as a whole, we got grandmas out there. We got papas, nanas, uncles, babies. You better not come up out there with that we nonsense. We come in peace. Yeah. We come in peace. Mm-hmm. We leave in peace. We, we say that on peace. purpose. Yep. We come in peace. We come with love. We're trying to give something back to your community, your neighborhood. So uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do the violence. We don't do none of that. And it's just strictly because of that. It's a love type of atmosphere. You heard it. You heard it. Yeah, come out there and man. compete. Come out there and talk your talk. Yeah. You can't play this game. You can't line up between those lines without having that war set, you know, uh, warrior mentality. For sure. So I'm going to go at your face. I'm going to knock your head off. Uh, he beat you, get up, talk your talk, but shake his hand, man. Yeah. Yep. You know what all I mean? And it's all love. At the all end of the day. Love. And I was one of them, I'll bark at you, and you be ready to knock me out. But after the game, I'm the man winning your face, man. Yep. You know, 
giving you that your kudos. Wreck, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah. Wreck, I respect your hustle. Long. I respect your game. So for it, sure. And that's a lost art too in this mm-hmm. game. All that <laughs> to revisit what we were saying about the 707 off the harp and all that standing up and tapping guys on your head and doing that. Nah, man, that ain't you know, do the backflips. Yeah. Do the celebration. Do what you can do in high school. Yeah. Celebrate with your teammate, but yeah. all that disrespecting me yeah, and all that touching yeah. me. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I can't be wild. mad if my player knocked you out because you touched his physical space. I'm gonna be honest. I come from that, so yeah. you know yeah. you, you you brought that on yourself. Keep for your, sure. Keep your hands to you. Hey, keep your hands to yourself, young man. You yes, know sir. what I mean? It's just it's there's no room for the game for that. Celebrate, celebrate with your teammates. Yep. Act like you've been there before. Get you know do a backflip. Throw the ball in. There. I don't really too much care about shooting up the ball and all that stuff. Um, it's kind of distasteful, but at the end of the day, have fun. Have fun. I, I'm with the 707, um, having fun, turning up, the crazy uniforms. We started a lot of that, man. So do your research yeah. on OTB Elite. Like, when I came in the game, I always had two, three uniforms. It was baby blues, and it was bright colors, and then we were loud, and we had the uh, social injustice uniforms. We was doing the backflips. We was, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know. And who was these kids? You know, and then Turn. we coming from Arizona, southwest side of Arizona. Who was these you know, but, but we went to Californians. We went to Florida. I mean, shout out to Florida Fires, one of my main rivals back in the day. Like, we getting active with these boys. So, at the end of the day, it was just one of those scenarios to where have fun, turn up, man. But just, you know, do it in good taste. So, come out here, turn up with the one-on-ones. Dope. Repeat. Put your name on the map, man. Put your name on the map. I got I got to uh, – we can wrap this up unless you got something else. No, that's it. I, I, we're, we all train athletes here. Yeah. <clears throat> DC, I'm going to ask you first. What separates you from other trainers out there? I mean, my passion that I pour into these youngsters, you know, I'm kind of like with him. I like to work with the raw, the green, you know, the ones that want to get there, but I can get them there. And I'm hands-on, and not only that, I'm not just going to tell you what to do. I'm going to show you. Yep. Everything that I put you through, I've done myself, mm-hmm. you know, and can still do, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't toot my own horn or anything like that, but if I have to show you this until you emulate it, I'll do just that because that's where I want you to get, you know, and that's why I feel like I'm, I'm, I separate myself from a lot of the guys out here. I'm not a, a money grabber, you know, I'm mm-hmm. all about developing the kids, and my proud dad moment, since I don't have any children, is watching it come to fruition when they finally step on the field. Yeah. That's me. I like it. Coach? Nah, I mean, I could piggyback on a lot of stuff that he said. Um, what separates me personally is my instant results. So if you're out there with me, you're on the field with me, and you're in the clinic, you're in the camp, you're training, I can get the results right now. So I don't practice bad habits, right? So they say Come on. practice makes perfect. No, perfect practice makes perfect. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to let you practice bad habits. You could do 100 things really bad and be really good at doing something really bad. Mm. So, no, we're going to critique that. And we'll sit there and we'll work on that technique over and over. And then I'm also real good at getting guys to believe in themselves. Yep. Right? Just getting guys motivated. Not necessarily, you know, shout out to the motivational speakers and all that. But it's more or less a belief system, you mm-hmm. know, because you could do it. And I ain't never seen nobody die trying to do what I'm trying to get you to do. So I know you could do it. So I got to get you to believe and understand that you could do it. So that, I'm big on that area that no excuses, just results. But getting the right now results, getting the right now transformation out of the kid. Like one session, you're going to see something change. Absolutely. You're going to learn something. Yep. And by the time we get to session 10, 12, you elite, <laughs> or yeah. don't say you train with me. Right. What about you, train? I think I think that um, the thing that separates me is when I train an athlete, I go in with a plan. But if I see something's not right, I can scratch that plan and get right to it. Yeah. AKA instant result. Yep. So when he's not doing something, and you know I want him to do something, I start off, hey, hit hit these cones, make sure your knees are high. Cut this way, come back to me, you know, find the color. Yep. If he can't do that and he can't even run right, all right, scratch that. Let's just run this and we'll mm-hmm. go over and basics. over and over and over again. That's right. Until he figured that out. Back to and the basics. Then, back to the basics. Yeah. I don't run away from the basics. I don't run away from being boring. Yep. Mm-hmm. People want to be, oh, let me get this on film. Hold on, do that again. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, don't look yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Hey, let's do this, do this, do this. Like, yeah. bro, listen, I can do, like you said, we can do all of that. But when are you ever going to use that Come on. Gonna try it. instead of putting it on IG or YouTube and people like, oh, that's tight. I want to try it. We can create that all day. Yeah. But is it going to transition to the field? Mm-hmm. And also the knowledge of the game that I have, like we all have. Mm-hmm. We can make these drills and be able to tell you when you're going to use it yes. and why you're going to use it and I what's the reason for yeah, using it. The IQ. And what everybody else is, what they're doing is going to yeah. make you do this. Yep. And they be like, man, what? Like, yeah, bro, football really don't change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, you just got different names. Yep. <laughs> just different names. Yep. So I think that's what, in my attention to detail, 
I yep, think that's what kind of separates um, me. And I think we all share those same qualities. That's why I asked because I'm listening to you. I'm like, yeah, I possess that. I'm listening to you. Well, like, even what yeah. you said as far as changing your format, once you see that the, the, the individual that you're training can't grasp the drill that you're trying to get them to do or the workout, exercise, whatever the case may be, you said you change it. That's a good sign of a good coach, period. Come on. So a good coach can adjust. I can't stand the coaches that go in there and they got the game plan and they got the notebook and they got the – and we got to stick to the script, and this is what we're doing, and you're an agenda coach. Yeah. Mm. Hey, man, it, that agenda went out the window when they working. busted us in the mouth. We, I need to fight. Hey, put little Johnny over here and move Sammy over top of there and then roll into How quick can I make the adjustment to yep. get the result that I need right now? You making the adjustment by, hey, hold on, you can't do the four-cone drill, then find the color. All right, uh, pick your left foot up and then drive your knee with your right arm. <laughs> you know I mean, you dummy it down, but you just made an adjustment. Now you're going to get the result out of it. So shout out to the coaches that ain't agenda coaches as well. You come out yes, there sir. and make an adjustment, man. So, yeah. so yeah. that was all set up to lead me into this last thing right yes, quick. You a, you a defensive uh, coach. I'm sorry. Yeah, I keep defensive tapping coordinator, this side. you know. Defensive coach. That's all these guys do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Ow, my nah, muscles. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and D.C., being a quarterback, offensive guy, offensive mind. Talk okay. Talk. You, you, you. You played at the high level, yeah. Big Ten Player of the Year. You looking at the defense, you dissecting the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you got this man across from you. You got four downs. Let's go. You got 17 seconds. Yes, 17 seconds. Oh, man. You on the 25, no timeouts. 25. Actually, you got one timeout. One timeout. Ooh. You got one timeout. He, okay. He's he going to take me to a four-play scenario? Yes. Let's he's going to go, he gonna go four first. Four-play. I need the formation. Are you safety? We no, no, no. Now. He's I'm, a he's oh, defensive he's coordinator. Got you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm coach got OTB, you, got by you, the way. Got you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> so we got uh, 17 seconds, ball mm -hmm. under 25. 25. One timeout. All right. What formation are you coming out in this first down? Well, we call, we call, it, we call, it, uh, we call it lucky at, at Penn State. So it's basically... Yeah, it's uh, 11 personnel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 11 personnel. I got a smash combo to the left. Uh, what's that formation look like, though? Two I by one. Oh, okay. Lucky is you got <clears throat> twins to the left, tight end, offset to the right, and we got a, we got our second flanker backside. Okay. So, two right? by one. Two by one back there. Two by one, Two by one. One back. Okay. All right. I got smash. Shotgun under center? Shotgun. Okay. Shotgun. I'm elusive, so I got a, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we got, I got legs, too, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see it. Two by one. Boom. What's the strength? Which where you got your tight end? Offset to the right. Offset to the, the right. right. So yep, strong left side. of my defense. Mm -hmm. Yep. Strong left of my defense. Twin left. You got so what formation I'll come back in. I'll probably either come out in straight man, right? I'll come out of four. Listen, hear me out now. We ain't talking about the athletes. I know what you think. I understand who you got. that. I know. I understand aggressive. that. I got man remember, beaters too. Okay. okay. Remember, I'm aggressive. I got man beaters too. I know. It's, I know. It's 17 seconds on the clock. Yeah. You right. got to put pressure uh -huh. on the uh -huh. I ain't going to just sit back and drop in those zone, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we got twins, right? Two by one on the left side, up for you. So that makes it the right side for me. So, obviously, I'm locked up on the outside with my mm -hmm. field corner, my number one corner. I'm bringing my strong safety down because he's probably going to be a hybrid. He's going to be an athlete. I'm not mm -hmm. going to trust a backer to play that number two slot. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to bring an athlete down to play that slot. And then I have my mic in my inside. I mean, I have my uh, strong backer still, mm -hmm. right? Then I still have my mic and I That's still have mic. my wheel. Yeah, your wheel. So, if you read option and you're doing anything inside, I'm still heavy in the inside. Yeah. And I'm locked up backside with my, my corner manned up. Mm -hmm. But he also has over-the-top help because he has a free over-the-top help of me. Uh, it's... Uh, that's playing the two by one. So I probably have him sitting middle high, right? Mm. Sitting middle high. He's not going to cheat to the twin side because mm -hmm. he don't necessarily have to because I still have strength with my backers you inside. Do. But uh, I'll probably have him split to play that alley just in case that run down a uh, solo side, try to get open. Kind of they did it today. I've seen it. But anyhow, and then um, I'm bringing my mic, my weak backer, or my strong backer, obviously, because it's strong right mm -hmm. for you guys, strong left for me. So I'm bringing my strong backer down. I'm locking him up on that tight end. I'm telling him to play football. Any pressure? Yeah, that's why I'm doing all that because I'm either bringing my will and my mic. Oh, uh, and, so you so you got at least five out. coming. Four yeah, down yeah, linemen. Yeah, four down linemen. So that's still five. give me four yeah. guys I can use because I can turn it to max protect. Keep so, my tight so here's end. the thing. Keep, yep. Keep so it. you, oh, he's reacting off your formation. Right. Hopefully, you already had a play in mind. Yeah, I got a few. So, just the play that you were going to give me because mm -hmm. he he's just reacting off formation. The first play that you thought when you said lucky, mm -hmm. can you get can you beat that defense? Yeah. What's the play? It's a man beater. It's a man beater, right? But so, did you know he was playing man? He's running. He's running. Nah, he but got he to run a smash or a combo. Me a smash combo. I got you a smash. Right, he said. Right. I got. Yeah. I got. I got a smash combo. I got my blitz beater backside at about five steps. So if your 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 Mike or your Sam comes, yep. All right, because you got him either locked in. On matter of fact, no, I'm gonna have my tight end release. 
okay. drag because I always got to got to pull him out. I got to yep. pull that guy yep. out. So he's going to follow him. So initially, I got one on one backside with my my five step slam. Yep. No lane up underneath. I mean, yep. an easy lane up underneath, depending on how he's playing man here. Yep. Now, if my guy, my slot guy, beats him clean on that smash route, yep. that yep. corner. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm I'm dotting that thing up to the corner. Over the to top the, now, because you got it. I'm relying on my yeah. safety. And yeah, I yeah, know yeah. my discipline, so I'm gonna stare that free safety right in his face okay. until I'm at the top of my drop and okay. bombs over back. Nah, I got so you. I but got you said that slot was your hybrid safety, correct? Yeah, he, he could he play an that athlete. Spot. He could play that athlete. So, so I'm trusting I'm taking that chance. I'm, I'm taking that, that chance. Not only that, depends on the alignment. For First sure. First party alignment, then going into the assignment. For sure. What's their splits? You know, is it tight cut or is it tight split or a split cut, whatever the case right. may be? I am might play combo with them. Yeah. So if he does bug run that mass route to the corner. Well, I got my front side corner bailing out, but he's going to catch that corner route. Well, at that point, I, I got to hit my hitch. I well, got to hit my hitch. So you hit your side. hitch, and you're yeah. going to run. We gonna so rally people don't know, when you got when you have a smash combo, who you reading? Oh, well, depending on the coverage. So, I mean, obviously he said, he said we're a man. man. Mm -hmm. We're a man. I'm taking my best matchups. I got my I got my hitch far side with the twin side. And for, for my quarterback. And then a corner yeah. from the slot. Cows quarterbacks and defensive quarterbacks. Coach, where are you going to play? I'm bringing pressure. Yeah. Right. So I'm, I'm bringing pressure. I might even send a double mic blitz and just sell the house. But here's another thing, though, because you spoke to that slant back side. And yeah. I'm a, I'm, so I'm probably going to play a DN hero. I'm probably okay. going to let my defensive end come up, feel hard, and he's going to drop back in that flats. I'm going to rob that window. Yeah. Because I'm bringing that pressure. So if I do bring it off that edge or if I do bring it inside. That DN ain't athletic enough to get under man, that come slant. come on, man. What's your running back doing? He's standing in the block or he releasing? He's getting spied by that mic or that he's inside. He's getting spied. He's going, he's going to check. No pressure, he's going to release. He's yep. either going in or he's either going out on that leverage of that, that backer that's playing. And hey. my guy's usually going to win that. And then on top of that, you got that DN dropping back. If you got your backer working on a running back, you forgot these two legs from 1-7. So, I'm out. So what You're I just the OC, though. You're not... You just the OC. Okay, well my quarterback can move. <laughs> All right, you're right, you're right. right. I keep you're thinking about me. I'm out. No, no, you're I'm still out. OC. Okay, well my QB out because okay, I know I got a little QB up in there. Yeah, so no, so that's a good scenario. So that's first play. That's one that's second. Mm -hmm. You just said okay. Go ahead. Second play, I, I say seven yard game. Okay, second and two. You use a timeout. Did you make it out of bounds? What? Where'd you throw? Tell me what you threw. Yeah, I'm saying throw if we got a, if we got a seven yard play. Would yeah? Would you throw? Would I throw? Yeah. Yeah. What did you throw? No, what did he do? He had to do to make it that. He had the hit seven that, yards? He had to hit that yeah. hitch or he had to hit the. I either hit the hitch or the backside slam. So yeah. tell me which one you hit. All right, so I hit the backside slam. Hit right, the cool. backside slam. So you got to call a timeout. Okay. Yeah, I got to call a timeout because we inbound. Okay, All so right. we got 11 seconds left. Okay. So this seven formation. yard game. That puts us on what? What yard line? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on the 18. So I got it. 18 yard line. All right, so this time I'm going to go trips left to the field. Trips left okay. to the field. Still, like got my, still got my lone receiver to the backside. All right. Trips left to the field. Trips left to the field. All okay. Right. I think it's off. My widest receiver to the field as a comeback because I got to have my. I don't know. I don't need no, no, the route check. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, 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 so trips to the left. So trips right for the defense. You can watch a film. You know he got to come back. Yeah, yeah. Good. 3A. So it is what it is. I'm going to tell you the defense is going to play for that anyway. So I'm going to call a diamond, right? I'm going to call a okay. diamond. Diamond is going to put my front side corner in cover three, right? Okay. The, the corner to the field side, to the trip side. He'll have cover three. My. Um, Nickelbacker will come down, reroute, play heavy flats, but he'll play that kind of like a man concept. Anything mm -hmm. past that yards, he's going to commit to it. Mm -hmm. So he'll come down, play heavy flats. Match. And then I have, yeah, he'll play match. match. Yeah. Then I got my one high free safety, right? Sitting down. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. So we got front side corner, field corner. My strong safety comes over and rolls in the box. He's my triangle diamond player. He's at the top of my peak. So he's playing in that eight yard box. He's catching corner. He's catching seam. He's catching post. He's catching dig. Mm -hmm. Then I have my nickel come down there and be real aggressive. Reroute everything to the flats. Reroute everything underneath. You jump it. You got over the top help. Sell out right now. Then I have my Mike backer, right? Then we, we strong on your trip side. Mm -hmm. I have my outside. I have my peak point. I have my under. My Mike backer in my diamond coverage picks up anything that crosses his face to the middle. Now I got him running with middle help. Still have mm -hmm. one high free safety over the top. Backside corner, you the best corner right now. You going to the league, you going to college, you power five, you locked a man backside. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. heavy inside leverage. And even if you want to play off, play off. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? We coming with a little bit of pressure off the edges. You know what I mean? If I can. So we, uh, we still we still cover. I mean, we still Y'all still covering now. Yeah, you said you wanted covered. to run that comeback. Now, yeah, yeah. My, no, I mean in terms of blitzing. Okay. I still got time. Oh yeah, you still, still got, got time, time because yeah. now everybody has to be accounted for. Yeah. So that Mike Backer, I'm not going to send him right now. Mm -hmm. But what is that other backer over there doing? Mm. He has hook curl to flat. Or I could just tell him backside, sit there and spy. Or 
if it presents itself, you hit that first gap that opens up. So what's up. the coverage? So it's diamond. So it's cover three, kind three, of concept, cover front three, side, diamond. and man, back side. Man, back side. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's yeah. another thing. Outside back or on that side, we have the hook curl to flat. Mm-hmm. And there's no other threats because you got trip. So I'm locked up with that running back. That's my man. That running back doesn't release. Oh, that's a flow I play. still I'm got on four his, routes out I'm on his ass. Give it to me. <laughs> all right. So, all right. You obviously know that that outside, that that front guy, that first guy to the sideline, to the trips. He's got, he got the comeback. All right. Your slot guy, if he if he matches with my um, my second receiver coming in, all right, I obviously got that comeback to the sideline, yep. right? But you got the diamond guy matching with him, all right? But I got him running a seam route. That's gonna be my strong safety. Got to catch that. Cool. He's sitting that yards in the box. Cool. Got that. Got my got my guy running the seam route. My third guy's running an over. Po- yeah, I know. Big post. It's running an over. Yards, you know. Running an over. He's it's gonna condition. occupy that mic. He's just gonna get right. He run right across the face of the free safety. He's gonna have mm-hmm. to choose. That free safety gonna have to come have a seat. And you said it's back. <laughs> and you said and look, and you said backside is man. Backside, so backside. I still got my nickel player or my weak backer or whoever the case may be. He's either man with that running back right. or cool. he's spy. That back doesn't come back. I'm spying quarterback or I'm heavy hook curl, Robin helping Robin that backside man. But in the end, the corner is one on one. Corner one on one. I trust him, man. That's that's we me. We used to do it all the time in college. I'm 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 calling a shake route post corner. Yep. Post corner. Yeah. To the it's back hard of for, his and, zone. and that's a, that's a natural route to get out of that. Yeah. Because man. it's hard for that safety to get over the top. But I'm, I'm in your hip pocket. I'm I'm trusting my young boy in his hip pocket. Yeah. DC, yeah. you know how we do it. Get us out of here. We on the way out. That's only man. two plays. I got to. Hey, this continue. the play right hey, here. Yep. Here we go. We starting that play right now. What it is? What is that?